Welcome back to News 5 at noon. It's Friday. That means the doctor is in. We are so happy to welcome back to the show Dr. Michael Mishad with the Southern Cancer Center. Dr. Mishad, thanks for being with us. My pleasure. How's your dad? Oh, he's doing just fine. Thank Good. you very Good. much. Uh, well, let's talk about a topic today that so many people were interested in the last time you came. So I said, bring it back. And we're talking about common cancer myths. There are so many out there. Let's start with the first one. Cancer treatment is more harmful than the cancer itself. Great question, and we get it all the time. You really have to decide what the treatment is for. When you're giving curative chemotherapy, that means for a period of time, you hit it hard and fast. That's rough chemotherapy, mm -hmm. but it's over, and if it works, you're cured. Mm -hmm as opposed to maintenance chemotherapy where you're just trying to control the disease. In that situation, you reduce the side effects as much as possible. Right. So I guess it depends, too, on what your, what your goal is. It, it completely depends mm -hmm. on your goal. Right. Okay, Dr. Mishad, this is one that you said a lot of people ask you about. Stress causes cancer. Positivity prevents cancer. It's one of my favorite huh. topics okay. because there's so much experimental evidence. I don't think stress really causes cancer, but if you've got cancer, stress seems to make it worse hmm. and positivity seems to make it better. They actually did a study with nude mice where they injected tumors into them. They're litter mates. Half of them, they fed them on a routine schedule. They played classical music, it was quiet. Mm -hmm. The other half, they played rock music, they fed them at different times, mm -hmm. they put them on a turntable and spun them around, mm -hmm. stressed them, physical stress. There was a 300-fold increase in survival in the ones that were treated gently. Wow. That is so interesting. Amazing. That is amazing. All right, so speaking of what we eat, superfoods, do, do superfoods prevent cancer? You know, not really. I mean, maybe if you started eating superfoods when you were four years old, mm -hmm. but the vast majority of what we've done, we've already done to our bodies. Okay. And changing it in the last few years of your life isn't going to make a huge difference. Right. Well, we know a lot of people will have questions for you because the last time you came, I think we had about 100 questions. And so we want to encourage you to log on to Facebook Live at 1230, the WKRG page, and I'll take your questions for Dr. Mishad about common cancer myths. So once again, join us at 1230 with Dr. Michael Mishad from Southern Cancer Center. Thanks, Dr. Mishad. Thank you.